Oh shit. So I want to show you guys something real quick. Because I've been noticing this, this a lot on uh, this game, which is Puzzles and Empires. Um, I don't know if the company that makes this game is aware of this. I don't know if this is a new character or that's able to do what it's doing or the fact that the game is doing stuff that's not supposed to be doing they're manipulating it so i'm on my last raid which i can refill it and i just want to show you what i'm experiencing and then i will do it again and then go against other people that's near my same strength which can kill me fairly quickly and take a lot of damage off but i barely take any because i stopped putting money into the game this is how they punish you And if you notice, I can only go like one time. Most of the time, I can only go one time. And then the other person you're playing against, which is offline, the computer lets them go five times and I go one time, which makes no sense. And I'm every, very rarely do I get to go more than one time. When I say one time, it's when I'm selecting on the thing down here. I want to get rid of her. Oh, now it's not doing it. And sometimes when you're playing this game, it will straight up just start cheating on you by giving you bogus puzzles that you can't even use. So that time it actually let me do it. But you got to keep in mind, it allows you to lose to the person three times where you can't remax them anymore. But we'll keep on going so we can find other ones. Using a Samsung Galaxy A S ah, Samsung Galaxy S8. By the way, I'm waiting for my shit. I guess I can't reload it. I'm waiting for my. I have two Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, 128 gig phones on the way. That I paid ninety four dollars for, each, from Samsung. And that's only because I have a close relationship with them. And they, they don't manufacture my stuff directly. But the company that makes their stuff in China, which is Foxconn, produces my stuff. 
So, and I also got other phones that I produce too, which I will include a link below to go to my website, which is a jewelry store when I'm slowly putting all my stuff back on there. But yeah. Which I don't gouge the price on phones. Like a six gigabyte memory and 128 gigabyte um, internal storage and six gigabyte memory and 256 gigabyte storage with a 6.3 inch screen, 6.2 or 6.3 inch screen, plus the fact that it has, I think, like a single camera and two or three high megapixel uh, cameras on the rear I think it's like 12 or 21 um, two or three of those cameras on the rear uh, those are the 128 gig is $450 and the 256 gig why are there so many cars going down my street what the fuck the 256 gig is 500 to make it uh, convenient for people. And I will probably lower the prices. Uh, on the website you'll see on there. When you go to it. If I lower the 128 below. Um, what do you call it? Below 450. It's not a sell price. That's just the price I'm going to actually probably leave it at. And I hopefully plan to produce more videos because right now it like work sucks and I really don't want to depend on Google because uh, if people haven't noticed Google has been doing like what China does with the social social system whether they admit it or not and by the way Google actually tracks everything that you do even if you use your debit card and you have a Google account and you use your debit card at a store that's like not using you know a conventional store you know you go to the mall or whatever you go buy something they know what you bought already and I do not have Google AdSense on my website and I do not log or at least for my cloud storage provider that I own. I do not log your uh, cookies. And yes, I do not log your metadata. Because the metadata, technically speaking, and I'm in the internet security field, the metadata, that's all they need. And you can actually delete it, or you can get rid of it if you are using Firefox to begin with. When you're using Google Chrome and you call yourself going incognito, it's not necessarily hiding what you're doing because your provider can still see everything you're doing. And for those of you, like myself, that download movies, I hate to say this, illegally, um, stop doing it at home. There's two, there's different ways you can use. Um, you could, do, motherfucker. You can use uh, uh, NZB or uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll just put the thing down there. It's kind of hard to describe. So they use the user net, which is like Telnet, which is what banks use to transfer funds back and forth. You know, when m people send money or whatever. Um, so with that being said is they use something similar to that, but it, it's the same technology, but it's called user net or Usenet. And with that being said, is that they, your provider can see what you're looking at. Like if you're in a browser, they can see what you're looking at, but they can't see like in detail, like, you know, per se, like, let's say you're on there. The file is not a torn file per se. So they won't, they can't tell that you're doing a torn one. A lot of people take out of contents is. When you're downloading something, they're like, oh, well, 
I got this letter that said I can't download anymore. Yeah, I got, I've got the letter. Of course, it wasn't in my name, but I got the letter. And I got Spectrum now. And the internet is good, but the fact that the router I have, which my old roommates down the street at the older house, they got the same one I have, and it, the internet covers the whole floor because it's only single story. So they cover the whole floor plus the basement. And on my end, my shit only covers up to 15 or 20 feet from the damn router. So I'm if I'm in the bathroom on the same first floor, I'm screwed because I can't get a signal and I have to resort to mobile data. But anyways, back to what I was saying is that uh, if you're going to download movies, what you want to do. Oh, I should have clicked that, too. What you want. Oh, never mind. What you want to do is go to. Actually, let me get out of here real quick. What you want to go to is this website and I'll leave the thing up there so you know. You want to go to nzbplanet.net. Like, I can't really go through the process of showing you guys. Um, I have my login. You can't see it. If I was on my computer and I click where the password is, I can show it, but I'm not going to. But uh, you can go there. You know what? Fuck it. I'll probably do it on the computer and show it in another video pertaining to that. And I'll make a video specifically for... You know, get in your movies. Um, so, and you can get them up to 4K on this site, by the way. So, just make sure you have a lot of space. I mean, a lot of space. Like, I have a surge protect Shit, surge protector. I have a... I would say NAS. Or a network attached storage. But mine is direct attached storage. So, I have 60 terabytes of space. Not including my desktop, which has uh, 10 hard drives at 16 terabytes each. And anybody that's counting is 160 terabytes. And you're probably wondering why the hell I need so much space. Well, I have my reasons. And then I don't store much stuff on there. Software I use or whatever I do that I actually normally use, like penetration software. And yes, I do hack, but I do not hack illegally. I contact companies that I'm going to do something too and I don't mean like I'm gonna just shut their shit down not intentionally but I look for security flaws and bugs so anyways um, I will just show you this is the site you want to go to and then I'm logging in it's seven dollars a year by the way um, also I'll make a video again with all of this stuff in detail uh, break it down to below 10 minutes because I don't have the paid version of Bandcamp or Bandicamp or whatever Bandicam or whatever the hell it's called. But uh, so he has all this other stuff. Yes, you can get the mobile one. Um, I haven't did the mobile part yet because it's been a pain in the ass. But okay, they did raise the price, so I was fortunate when I paid seven dollars. So I'm I'm grandfathered in. So it's ten dollars a year. And that's the one I have right there, the VIP. You can do 15 pounds, which is probably somewhere around the range of like $23, but uh, I'm not really sure. So anyways, you can do all that. I don't mess around with the APIs. So you do that. You have unlimited in general, which is with the VIP. And it says I'm limited to five downloads per day. Now, in actuality, I'm limited to five downloads in general at a time not per day just in at a time so if i grab like five movies i gotta wait for them to download but anyways five per day so i'll stick to that they must have changed it whatever so i'm gonna go to if my phone will let me do it movies and you're looking for your 4k movies so you've probably seen the different names on here some of these names i never heard of whatever but shit where the hell is that section at up nope 
And let's see if I can do this fast. Ultra HD. All right, or damn it. And by the way, I had Spider-Man from home two days after it came out in theaters. Okay, Ultra HD. Ultra HD. Okay, there it is. These are 4K movies. And if you see, you see the, the space amount for them. So what you want to do is when you're on here, and I'll give you several different downloader i'll give you one downloader and this is the other one there are some free ones too but it's slow as shit and even if you have a faster and it's still slow as shit but if you want the free one but whenever you're downloading these movies you want to make sure to see this section where it says stats you want to make sure whatever movie you're getting is zero for stats for starters the hits also play a role too but it's just your own preference you know whatever but you want to make sure that stats stay zero because stats is where it's talking about there's an issue with the movie. So let's say if I wanted to uh, get a movie, it's not when it downloads, it's not going to show up as a really. It's not going to show up as a uh, school bus. It's not going to show up as a torrent file. So it doesn't red flag your... Uh, I already have that movie too, Fast and Furious Hobbs. But uh, it's not going to show up as a torrent file. So you have no problem with that. Uh, it's going to show up as a uh, NZB file, Usernet. So they can't see it anyway. But any, uh, So we're going to go down to... Uh, I've never seen Scarface. I'm not going to watch it. But I'm going to click this. And then, you know, detail and all that shit. And I got Plex, so Plex recognizes your movies, by the way. So, uh, we're going to download. NCB. Files downloading. We're going to add to queue. Or whatever. You can't do it two times, so you ain't got to worry about it. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. And then the other one you want to go to is for your downloader. If you're one of those kind of people that is like new to this shit. I so should release my fucking OS that I made or whatever. But anyway, so you want to type in NZB downloader. Oops. So this just pretty much tells you what the NZB downloader is. NZB Git, which is a free one, by the way, is a lightweight open source NZB downloader which runs almost anywhere, desktops, Windows, Mac, oh sorry, Windows, Linux, Mac, routers, network, just network, attached, ah, network attached storage devices, media players, and more. Add one or more NZ files to the interface, copy them, and you know, you got to set that up so it's a pain in the ass. So one day when I actually have the money to do it, assuming I can get about 10,000 views on this and even more likes and you can share it for other people to see it and I'll release a video for it, um, I'll actually walk you guys through the process of trying to set it up. So, okay, I use the first one, which is NZB, which is free. And then... I'm not going to get in on Android, obviously, but I have it. It's on my computer. So that one's free. You don't have to donate. You can if you want to. It actually keeps the program going. And then the other one I do use is this. Sab NZBD. D stands for downloader. So this technically is not free. You do have to pay for this. So And it comes with a VPN. And VPNs technically don't hide what you're doing, by the way. Your provider cannot, well, technically your provider can see still what you're downloading, just not when you're using Usenet. But if you get in torrent files, they can still see what you're looking at and what you're downloading, and as well as your VPN provider. So all you people that think you're slick just because you have VPN. 
So just to let you know, they can still see your shit. Um, on top of it, uh, that's how one hacker got caught. And what happens is VPN, uh, since you have your internet, they may not be able to see directly what you're doing at that time. Really, dude? Really? You guys can't pick another fucking route to go down? So, um, yeah. So, like I was saying is, what happens is... I'm going to close this. So, what happens is... Uh, your VPN encrypts your connection from you to their servers. However, it does not encrypt, meaning hide your stuff, from their servers to the website you're visiting so with that being said that's just something that you guys need to keep in mind and then if you're on a mobile device i feel sorry for you guys with uh ios because ios doesn't let you do it unless you root it uh yes you see it correctly get showbox you're gonna have to do a google search to get it and i'll make a video on that too so uh, with me, I downloaded a ton. They're just not on the phone. So new releases. Shows. So I get romance movies because my wife, you know, short Filipina. You know, they love their martial arts, but she loves her romance movies. Love movies, whatever. So I'm going to go back to playing a game. I make two more videos in due time. If I can get this video to about... I honestly be honest if I can get the if this video gets to either 1,000 likes or 1,000 views I will release the video on where you how you can download your movies and programs and everything else securely without your provider seeing it and then I will do a thorough breakdown on what VPN really is that a lot of people take out of contents because a lot of places claim that you will be anonymous online, which is really not true. You are anonymous online if you're using Tails, the operating system, or Pirate OS. Not Pirate Sec, because they have a home version too. So Pirate OS and Kali, if you know what you're doing. And then Tor, to an extent. So let's go back to this. Let me waste out my energy thing. And some of you that's probably wondering, yes, I'm outside right now. Apparently inside my house, I do not have reception on my phone. I have like one bar if I'm in my room. And when I come upstairs from the basement, I probably have like two bars. Three if I'm lucky, but two bars. In front of my house, literally in front of my house, not the backyard. Oh, come on, dude. Seriously. Bitch, are you serious? Did you just do a U and have two more school buses come back?
not surprised.
I have five heroes. What the fuck are they talking about? 